Camera. Oh, thank you. Huh. Okay, that was quick. Wow, I guess we are, we are live. live. Hello, Ladies everybody. Gentlemen, everybody, thank you. We are excited. We are getting started with the LinkedIn Mastery Course, second edition. This is uh, Star Wars Day for those of you who are joining us. We are, and, uh, we are doing this live. This is actual, this is not some sort of pre recorded garbage we're doing live. So if you could do me a favor, everyone who's in here, because we got people coming in, if you could just type a one in the window to let us know that you, uh, there's a little uh, chat box right there. And uh, just type a one if you can see us and hear us. Please. Please, because we want to make sure that you can have the full sensory experience. Uh, and not just the partial partial experience. Look, David can see us. Oh, great. Oh, Sabine. Sabine is hey, here. Hey, Sabine, hey, hello. Just, thank you for the pizza, Sabine. Sabine bought us lunch today. That was so <laughs> nice. She's She's got a brilliant uh, uh, business. That's right. And uh, so we are, uh, we are live. It is Star Wars Day. May the 4th be with you. And uh, today we are going to go over developing a master LinkedIn profile. And this is going to be very valuable because if you're one of those people that has a LinkedIn profile, but you haven't touched it or updated it in years, uh, LinkedIn, if you don't know this, is going through a massive explosion. LinkedIn was just purchased by Microsoft. And when they purchased it, uh, they made a vow to make it uh, a relevant network. And indeed, they are doing that. So more than ever, your LinkedIn profile, if you want to do business with anybody, if you just want your own personal SEO to become uh, seen, if any of that stuff, uh, you need to really update your LinkedIn profile. So yeah, the um, integration has begun. And Microsoft, we need to tell everyone, they own some very handy tools that they have already started integrating in with LinkedIn. And you're going to see more of them mm -hmm. coming into play in the coming years, probably this year. Yeah. Uh, Microsoft owns Microsoft Skype, Office, obviously. Skype. Skype. Microsoft um, Office, uh, you know, that's and inside of Office, if you don't know, that's uh, Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, all of that. So it is becoming a broader platform and it's going to just continue to expand. And if you don't know, the Skype is actually developing some, uh, they've already have developed some real-time translation uh, software. So you can talk to anyone in the world and it will translate what you're saying real-time. So uh, not only is LinkedIn becoming a very powerful tool for business, but it's also going to be a way that people will be able to interact and do business online. Um, and this is just the beginning, folks. So if your LinkedIn profile is not dialed in, uh, you are going to, like, here's you right here. And this is a boat. And this is the boat. This is the boat. And the boat is sailing away, right? But you don't have to worry about that because this is this is us right here. This is him and me in one pen. And we're like, hey, boat, come back here and get this person and sail back across the sea. So with, that was an interesting analogy. Yeah, that was terrible. Metaphor. Please don't yeah. let me ever do that again. Good. So uh, for those of you watching, also, we have... Well, before we go to that, yeah. let me just say that with LinkedIn, if you're a business owner, and, and most of the people we work with are entrepreneurs or small business owners, there's a mentality shift that needs to happen with LinkedIn when you're using it as a business owner versus using it as a job seeker. Yeah. So it's one thing when you're looking for your dream job to start bragging about yourself, talk about your sales experience, um, kind of tailor your profile to fit the needs of your employer. But when we're talking about being an entrepreneur and a small business owner, you need to reframe the way that you're using LinkedIn because this is your branding center. This is your advertisement for your business. So your messaging needs to be speaking to your target market audience. And you're not you're not pitching anybody on hiring them, hiring you for a job. You're pitching somebody on buying your products or services. So it's a different mentality to take in with LinkedIn. And so there is a kind of a paradigm shift that happens between being a business owner on LinkedIn mm -hmm. or being a job seeker on LinkedIn. And it can work for both. Right. But uh, a lot of this training, we'll talk, we'll talk about both, but we're going to talk a lot about being a small business owner and how you can use this to boost your branding, to, to find also to target your ideal target, you know, ideal clients on LinkedIn. And then to find like joint venture partnerships, contact uh, corporate decision makers. I mean, it's an amazing plot. We're going to go over the anatomy of a LinkedIn profile. And we're going to show you exactly 
which uh, uh, what what makes a good LinkedIn profile. So part of that is that uh, you can leverage even your past experience. You can leverage it to make sure that your LinkedIn profile is uh, on like totally up to date. And you know, remember that LinkedIn is a very well indexed site. It is search engine optimized. So if anybody, I mean, I know whenever I do business with somebody, the first thing I do is Google them. And most people do as well. Your name will probably come up towards the top, <clears throat> thanks to LinkedIn. And if they click on that, all of those qualifications you put are going to be the first impression. So we're and going to show you how to leverage that. More than ever, um, when somebody wants to do business with you, they're looking at uh, uh, about three different variables before they make a decision on using you as a business owner. Uh, number one, they're going to look for your website. And your website, these days websites are, the majority of their purpose is to brand. It's to, it's to establish yourself, uh, to build your credibility as a business. Websites need to be there. Uh, I would say that sales funnels and tactics like that are more for the for the sales perspective, um, unless you're an e-commerce store or something like that. And then number two, they're going to look for your LinkedIn profile. So the LinkedIn profile is going to be one of the top things that comes up when somebody Google, Googles your business or your name. So you need to be aware of what's on it, and you want to make sure that it's making you look professional and desirable for your target market clients. You said pro professional. Professional. Look professional. Dictionary that you heard it. You heard it. You heard it here, folks. Dictionary it first, folks. So, Dictionary it. So this uh, presentation <laughs> is going to be about an hour long, so we don't want to take too much of your time. But we're going to throw in as much information as you can, and I guarantee you're going to pick up some interesting tips and tricks. But first is first. Okay, this is the fun part, yeah. and then we'll get into the content, and we'll do screencasts, and we'll show you all this. But Drum for those roll, of you that are on here, and you've watched any of our content before. You get to vote. You get to take part here now because this is where it gets exciting, right? So, folks, we have three flavors of soda. We have number one, grass, grass soda. Number two, we have ranch mm. soda. I like the dressing. I don't know about it. Ranch dressing <laughs> soda. And number three, the wild card, folks, dirt, dirt. Flavored dirt soda. soda. I don't even know what that means. So but we're we're, we're going to take a poll right now. And so uh, so please take a chance and vote. If you're on the webinar, you should see a poll popping up on your screens now. Take a chance and vote for your choice of which soda. <laughs> vote for dirt already. Uh -oh. <laughs> dirt, dirt. Oh, oh, ranch. Oh, oh, good, good. There we go. Ooh. Of mm. which which flavored soda you would like us to drink at Boy, the end? Right now it's a 50-50. All right. Yeah, it's a tie between dirt and ranch right now. Neck and neck. So I'll, I'll let that run for a minute. Uh-oh, uh -oh, ranch is pulling ahead, folks. Okay, okay. Oh, wow. Ranch is running away with it. Oh, no. Oh, no. I was afraid of this. Oh, let me tell you, that was the thing that I was really afraid of. Last week, we did a, a, a bacon-flavored soda. And, uh, and bacon really was the least scary of the bunch. Yeah, but after, until we tasted it. Well, it tastes okay. Like, yeah. So it does look like ranch. We'll we'll do oh grass. Somebody voted for grass. <laughs> okay, so we'll 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 revisit this. Right, we'll uh, revisit again. this in a okay. little bit. But let's get started with the training. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. We're going to hop on LinkedIn and then we're going to start talking about how you can get going on your LinkedIn profile. So the first thing is uh, if you are. Uh, things uh, I just want to go over here. Uh, there's a couple of things that you want to notice right off the bat. First of all, we see this section right here. This is a background photo and there's a picture of good old good looking Justin, right? So if without you, a hat on, right now, most <laughs> people, you know, a lot of people, you know, they, they put a, uh, a profile picture on and a lot of people don't. I'm surprised. In fact, I personally will not connect with anyone who does not have a profile picture. Because what you're saying to me is uh, if you don't have a good profile picture, it doesn't even have to be good. If you don't have a profile picture and you don't have time to update that, uh, then, you know, what else is going on? Yeah. There? And in fact, having a profile picture alone makes you 14 times more likely to get engaged with on your LinkedIn profile. So make sure you have a profile picture and also make sure that it's a professional photo because the stats only go up as you have a uh, professional photo taken. So the idea is to have kind of a headshot done, uh, wear something that fits your branding. It doesn't have to be a suit or anything like that. It just needs to fit your branding, but it needs to be a nice photo and it needs to be looking professional, um, 
Now, if you notice, Justin is not following his own rule because he's not wearing a baseball cap in this. I know it falls off my branding, and that's totally. what I wear. I wear a suit jacket, and I and I wear a baseball hat. So this is this is weird. Yeah, I this don't know. Weird going on we, here. We gotta have, we gotta get you a professional. <laughs> um, and then also, there's another section that most people miss, and it's this section back here, which is your background image, because you can use this as a billboard. Case in point, let's take a look at my uh, my little. Uh, there I am. Look at that. There I go. And if you notice. I here have all my contact information directly on here. I'm not worried about a bot picking this up, like my email, because this is embedded in the picture. So, uh, you know, this this right here is going to be uh, really good real estate because if someone lands on here, you can put a call to action, and we're going to show you a very easy way mm -hmm. to make these background images. Yeah, and ultimately, you should look at this background image as some kind of a like a billboard. I mean, this is uh, this is digital real estate for your brand, so you definitely want to use something brand related. I have my logo up there on mine. Andres is taking even more advantage by having his contact information and a uh, link and the link to his website right there. So take advantage of the background photo. It's something that a lot of people miss, and we don't want to do that. Well, actually, let's let's start by telling talking about the background photo. Let's go right into it. Right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go into. We're going to show you one of our biggest secrets. Right. So this is a really great thing. How do you get a background photo like that? Do you need to uh, uh, do you need to uh, do something like you know know any graphic design programs? Well, the answer is no because you just have to go to Canva, which is a free service. Canva is really great because it allows you to make high-end graphics uh, without too much trouble because they have all these templates. So so watch this. So Okay, so this is when you're logged into Canva. So canva.com, um, you can see it up in the URL up here. It looks like the word canvas, but without an S at the end. So canva.com. And when you come to this page, this is the create a design section of Canva. You click on more and look at this. This is so beautiful. Social media posts. This is one of the greatest kept secrets on social media. If you want to create memes for your social media like Facebook and you want to make them look really, really nice and do it really easy and effectively without Photoshop or anything fancy, you just click on like social media. It'll size the image uh, for a social media post and it'll, it'll give you a template that you can customize. But for us, we're looking for a LinkedIn background photo and so you can find background photos customized for several social media sites. But here we have like a LinkedIn post header. We have a Facebook cover photo, Etsy cover photo, Twitter header, Tumblr, Facebook event cover. And ultimately we have our friend, the LinkedIn banner. And you notice how it says new? Well, LinkedIn just reformatted uh, how they do the size of their banners. So uh, one thing about Canva is that they're always updating it. So it's really great. And again, um, it's there's a freemium version and a premium version. The way that the freemium version works, if you notice on the left-hand side here, these little things that say free. So if you click on that, the photos, everything in there is free. You don't have to buy it. Then the better ones are going to obviously have, uh, you have to pay like a buck or something for the photo, but you could always upload your own photo. Now, Justin's going in here. And, and I'm just clicking on, okay, so everything is templatized. So all I have to do is just click where the text is, and I can change any of this with a with just a click and uh, typing. Yeah, typing is good. That's... Typing is a skill that I really encourage everyone to have, even when the, in the age of automation. Mm -hmm. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to brand this as LinkedIn Mastery Course. And even though this picture may not reflect LinkedIn Mastery Course, I still like it. That guy, that guy's thinking about his profile right there. That guy is thinking about updating his profile for 2017. He's like, you know what? I still have my old job on there. I'm now like working for myself. And there you go. But you get the idea and we can, we can change, we can change the photo in the background there. So we can put any photo, we can upload our own photos. Um, now, now Canva will give you a number of these stock photos that you can use for free. But what I would rather, um, what I, more often do let's see do we uh, we have a question in the chat from david will we receive a recorded version of your webinar yes, yes. you will you'll receive it after uh after completion you will have a, a link to the recording i think it'll be available for about a week after this so you'll you'll receive that uh, by email after at the conclusion of the webinar uh, but getting back to canva you can change the background photo to anything that you want so you can upload your own photos um, one more, a couple more tricks I just want to share with you guys uh, since we're giving away all of our fun secrets today. Now, now is, mind you, we uh, um, 
uh, we have uh, clients and we charge people yeah. money for this information, but we're giving it to you for free because but, uh, we love you. I wanted to show you a site called Pixabay. So if you ever want to get um, commer you want to get images that are uh, what's the word I'm looking royalty for? Free. Royalty free. You want royalty free images to use, and they're totally free. These are free royalty free images because a lot of times you Google royalty free images and they'll be charging you a lot of money. You can use this site called Pixabay, and you can see in the top left corner it's P I X A B A Y, and you get over 940,000 free stock photos. That's close to a million, folks. And art illustrations. It's an amazing tool. So if I want to find like a business related image. I just type the word business and I'll even I'll go business meeting. I'll do a search and then bam, here's a bunch of royalty free images. You've probably seen these on some people's websites because they're royalty free. And I can use these and I can use any of these as my background photo, for instance, in Canva uh, and then put that on my LinkedIn profile without without fear that somebody's going to come back at me and tell me to take it down. So let's go back to uh, the uh, so you can upload it here. And then once you upload it and you make it yours. Uh, then you download it and simply do this. So um, okay, so yeah, and if you want to upload, just come in this upload section. You would upload a file here, your own file, and then you would just kind of drag it over. Uh, but then you would just download it like this. I would download as either a PNG, PNG or, a is probably or a JPEG. The, yeah. So I'd probably do a PNG. You just download it. You do that. You wait a second until it downloads. Da 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 da. -da. Dun, 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 dun. Keep going. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, that's, okay, that's our little go. theme song for downloading. <laughs> Welcome to it. It's going to be a big and now, now I have the file here, and I can just click on Show in Folder. It'll pop up somewhere here. There it is. And let's see. Here. You've got a pretty clean Downloads folder, man. Yeah, right? You don't want to see mine. Where'd it go, though? I lost the file. There it is. It's at the <laughs> top. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I'd come back to LinkedIn. And I don't really want to change it. I don't know which. But if you do want to change it, if I did want to change it, I would click on update background photo. I would click on upload photo. I would then find my file, double click, and then bang. There it we is. Have a new photo. You can even make that sound if you want. <laughs> bang. Now, um, and that that updates all of that. And as far as like this photo, when uh, when Justin said a professional photo, you know, all you need is really a white background or a solid colored wall, and you could even use an app like Beautify. Make yourself look, you know, completely awesome, and then upload the photo. So, you know, make yourself look as if you know you wanted how you want yourself to be presented if you walk into a meeting. Now, one thing, if you notice, uh, you type in my name. Um, I'm going to type it in right here. See this right here? Like as I started typing, these came up right here. And if you notice, there's me, SEO, SEM, marketing Jedi, marketing campaign management specialist, sales funnel expert, futurist. This is what people are going to see when they start typing in my name for the first time. So what we're gonna get into now is the importance of having a really good uh, headline right here. This is mine, right? Now this, this, everything that's in here, I put in for a very specific reason. And let me tell you, um, it, I didn't come to it lightly. In fact, for a long time, this didn't say SEO, SEM, Marketing Jedi. This said uh, video uh, marketing Jedi. And the reason why I changed it is because every year uh, LinkedIn comes out with the top jobs that people look for. And uh, it wasn't video marketing, it was actually SEO, SEM marketing. So I changed that. I kept Jedi because that's part of my brand. My company's called Star Child Interactive. So that's part of the branding. Marketing campaign management specialist. This is another skill that uh, a lot of companies are looking for. Sales funnel expert is up and coming. So uh, I put that. Futurist is just, again, part of my own brand. And then I put this little picture here called, uh, this is called a, um, what's it called? The symbol. It's called a symbol. A LinkedIn symbol. That's what the professionals call it. <laughs> It's like a little gear icon, though. I, uh, but yeah, these are these are symbols. Uh, we actually have a symbols guide that kind of shows you all the symbols that you can use on your LinkedIn profile. But these are um, there are a number of symbols that LinkedIn will allow because you can't use bold or italicized text on LinkedIn, but you can use these things, uh, these LinkedIn symbols, to kind of break up the monotony of your profile and catch people's attention. Because ultimately, at the end of the day. 
everything about this profile is about gathering attention. And, and, re and remember, the other thing is that this is all search engine optimized. So depending on what you put on here, that's how people are going to find you. So if people are looking for your particular skill set, if they search for that particular skill set, your name should pop up. So if somebody types in SEM, right? Uh, I don't know if I'll show up, but if you notice this, these other people do, maybe I'm not search engine optimized enough, but if he types in SEM, he is going to have a list of people who are, uh, people for results who are SEM people. And if you notice here, they all show up. I'm not showing up. What's up with that, man? I guess I'm not search engine optimized enough, but if you notice they empty, they, they have it here, they have it here. And so, uh, you know, I, I have a filter on, it might be. No, it's not filtered. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. I don't know. Well, these are the top, and then these are people who are probably just rocking the LinkedIn profile better than me. You could uh, boil down to people, and there you go. So that's why whatever you put on your um, uh, on your headline has got to be it, it's got to be very relevant to what you're doing. So make sure, like you know, internet marketer, marketer, speaker, coach. And Justin did something really interesting. Asked me about marketing with webinars, landing pages, and email campaigns. He put a call to action directly in there. So it doesn't necessarily make him more uh, search engine optimized, but it does give a call to action as soon as someone lands on this page. Remember, this is someone's first impression. There's his picture, there's his branding, here's a call to action. And uh, here is where he's located. Well, that's is, where I used to be located. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, also right here. Now in Camarillo. Yeah, 500 plus. It's a good idea if you don't have uh, over 500 connections on LinkedIn, get them because uh, if it says 68, it doesn't look as good as 500 Yeah, but plus. I mean, from an optics standpoint, when somebody comes across a LinkedIn profile, the ideally you want to have at least 500 connections because when somebody looks at your profile, you want them to know that you're using LinkedIn uh, to its fullest extent and that you're serious about about LinkedIn. I'm looking at the chat. I started laughing because I saw uh, Elaine just said dirt in the comments section. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, so you, you want to make sure that you are, are – are looking like you're taking the platform seriously. So making sure that you have like a professional looking headline. And then we come down to the section right below the headline, which is the summary. And you can see first, before you click that, uh, close that out real quick. Um, in the summary section, come back up. <clears throat> you'll see that the first, uh, it's about, I, I, have, I, have, I need to count these again, but it's like about 200, 250 characters right there. Those first 250 characters are displayed to anybody that is on your profile without having to click the see more button below. So those first 250 characters need to, uh, are, are important because those are the words that people are gonna see every time they click on your profile. Whereas if they click the see more, which not everybody will, that's when you can get into the nitty gritty and go through all your services and kind of go and, and boost your brand and talk about your business and everything that you do. Um, but this, this first section, which is why I have a, a book, your call now. So it says, if you're ready to take the next step in growing your business through advanced marketing strategies, book your free 30 minute strategy session. Now I have a link to my online scheduler right there, uh, where people can book a call with me directly. So they can just click on that link. They can book a 30 minute strategy call with me and, and that'll show up directly in my calendar. And then I have my email address, which gets cut off very so slightly at the end there. But, but somebody will know that it's they, there. They get the idea. And if they want my email, they'll click the see more and they'll grab it. Right. So the point is, is that is that all of this, you can put up to 2,000 words here. Use every single one of them. Because if you notice, you filled this up pretty good because all of this stuff is going to be search engine optimized. And again, you'll, you'll also see that I'm using symbols here. Like I use the check marks to break up my uh, the services that I offer. So if you come up to the top there. You can see that I have, here it says, here are the, it's a who we are section. It's talking about the business that I'm running. Uh, here are the services we offer. And then you go through a check mark, like build a website, maximize your uh, business, uh, business, social media marketing, online targeting and advertising, CRM management, Infusionsoft, those kind of things. So the thing is, is that we want to talk about uh, for a second automation because uh, a lot of times when somebody's specifically looking for something, there's an artificially intelligent uh, algorithm that goes through everyone's uh, uh, different profiles and pulls out all the keywords. So I'm going to show you another tool that we use quite a bit. It's called <clears throat> Word Clouds. And it's wordclouds.com. Yeah, wordclouds.com. And let's, I'll grab it right okay. now. 
So and it takes you into this, and what this does is it gives you a visual representation of what your uh, what is in uh, the groups of words. So you can see kind of what the machine learning uh, algorithm will see when it goes and crawls through your page. So we're going to hit, uh, uh, no, not there, uh, file. There you go. And you paste. There you go. And he's going to paste all the content that is on his, uh, on his LinkedIn summary. And voila. That didn't work. This is why I'm not a magician. <laughs> Let's try it again. Voila! Interesting. I wonder if it's that blogger. Huh. Okay. Cookies to improve. Okay, agreed. Well, stand by. Technical difficulties here. We'll get this rolling in just a second. So keep keep telling them what it does while I get I'll, this uh, working. There, okay, we there we go. go. I think here we go. Okay. Let me uh, let me do it again. Okay. So paste. There we go. So what it's going to do is it's going to give you a visual representation. Now it will. There, da -da, there we go. Of what he does. And it's, what is that shape? What's um, going on there? I'm going to call it a happy face. Okay. Sounds good to me. <laughs> so if you notice that the, the larger the words, those are the things that uh, people will uh, pick up uh, and what will come towards the top. So if you notice business is one of the top things that uh, he is known for. So uh, this is kind of like a machine learning sort of thing. So the larger the word, the more it's mentioned. So you can use wordclouds.com as a really handy tool to take all of the information on your site and uh, reformat it so you can be found for that particular thing. Now, when I was, um, uh, here he goes, he's looking for something. There's me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a word cloud of Andres' profile. Since he's been working working incredibly hard to get ranked with the SEM, so let's uh, let's take right. a look at that there. So these are uh, these are pieces of media that I've done. I'll get into that a little bit. So yeah, he's taking my information now, going to Word Clouds, and so you this is an exercise that you want to do. Your homework assignment is to go through your profile, and there it goes. Ta -da -da. So sales, management, SEM, media, you notice, you see those words are, um, uh, are bigger. He's going to make it, pop make it smaller, more. I guess. What the heck? Let's go this way. Use the slider, man. Probably go faster. Is it making it bigger? There it goes. Ta-da. Nope. I don't know what that does. Okay. So, uh, there, there we go. go. Ta-da. All right, so if you notice, uh, their SEO, SEM are bigger, sales, all of those things. I, I did a lot of uh, research into this, and you could choose the shape, by the you way. You know what? I think it's a microphone. I, I think it is. Let's just do a simple, <laughs> a simple circle, but you could, you, know, you could choose a camera or whatever. There we go. So if you notice marketing, management, SEO, sales, SEM, these words are showing up larger than other words. And this was by design. I actually went through my uh, entire uh, summary and I put those words in there specifically so they would show up more. So that's something that, that you definitely want to start doing with all of this. In fact, you want to go back through your entire work history and start doing this because um, you know if you do that, you're gonna be ranked higher for all of this stuff. Mm -hmm. Now, if you notice also, I'm gonna go back here to Justin's, uh, Justin's profile. Dun, 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 there he is. And uh, if you notice right here, he has an all-star profile. What that means is he filled out as much of that profile section as possible. And the way you do that is you hit this little button right here and uh, that will take you into edit. Now, I want to add uh, one more bit of uh, advice before we move on from this particular section. And if you notice at the top of the uh, Justin's URL uh, right here, it says LinkedIn.com forward slash in forward slash Justin Womack one. I couldn't get I couldn't get Justin Womack. So I, had to I told one. him there could be only one, and so he put a one. <laughs> Next Somebody else it. stole mine, but it, let's go ahead and update it right now. So, um, so if you hit edit your public profile, and I'm going to go ahead and change it right now. Really? Let's let's change it live. 
So, so you okay? So you can change your URL by clicking on the edit your uh, edit public profile URL, and then you come into the top right section there. It says edit public profile URL, and you can actually give your uh, you can create a custom URL. So for most people, I recommend they use their name. If you're if you're too slow to the party like I was, if somebody else stole uh, LinkedIn.in slash Justin Womack. Um, but what you can do, and this is why I did this by design, so that we can show it on uh, on the on the webinar, is you can actually add a keyword in your URL that can help you to uh, enhance your search engine ranking. So, because uh, the search the the URL is a piece of uh, is a piece of content that's also search engine ranked within the within the LinkedIn profile. So it doesn't add a ton of uh, search engine value, but it does matter. So mind you, if, if uh, you haven't done this, you're gonna have a bunch of numbers uh, directly after your name, and you wanna change it so it does something like this. Now, in doing this, since Justin is doing it and changing it to online marketing as a URL, anywhere he's posted his URL, his LinkedIn URL, will have, to be updated. will have to be updated. So just bear that in mind. But if somebody puts in LinkedIn, uh, in LinkedIn, in the search engine, online marketing, the, the chances of his name popping up become more pronounced simply because uh, he's using that particular uh, thing. Did I scare you off? You did, you scared me off. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and leave it there for now. Ha <laughs> ha, there can be only one. Okay, so let's, so, come, let's come back on for a second yeah. here. And then we will take a few questions right. and uh, go that way. So um, give me a second while I bring us back on and then we will uh, open it up for questions here. So here, are we? here we are. And so, so if anybody has any questions about this, uh, you know, let us know. The, uh, the main thing is, is that you want to make sure that uh, you you really SEO the the heck out of your uh, LinkedIn profile because uh, again a lot of this is crawled by machines. So as a recruiter, let's say that part of your plan is to get a better job, right? And LinkedIn is starting to do some really great stuff with. Uh, uh, job researchers. In fact, as a HR person, you can post a job and you can apply to the job as a job seeker directly from LinkedIn. So it uh, it makes it very, very simple. But uh, your profile is going to rank towards the top based on the algorithm that uh, LinkedIn offers. So if you're not, if, if your uh, keywords aren't as good as someone else's keywords, you're gonna be towards like the second page. And uh, that could be the difference between you getting a job and not getting a job. Now, uh, Sabine asked a question here, what was the importance of the icons in the pro profile description? And so uh, Sabine, I'm gonna, let me, pop back on there for just a second. So I'm gonna pop back on to answer your question here. So we're gonna come on to the... To, to break up a lot of content and to make it, if so, look, a number of things. It catches people's attention, number one. Uh, number two, it breaks up the monotony of, of like a, of a long group of text. So when you can't use bold or italic text, you can use symbols to kind of break things up and to make it look nicer and easier to digest as uh, someone coming across your profile. So as you can see on my profile, I kind of have just different, different sections kind of like pointing to who we are section, uh, using that, using that hand again, pointing to, um, can point it to different points in my profile. Now, mind you, some symbols will not show up on cell phones. So just bear that in mind as well. Yes. And then if we come back to Andres's, Andres took advantage of the symbols as a, as a branding idea. So since his, uh, since his logo, if you notice in his background photo here, it's kind of like a gear icon. So he found that the, uh, the gear icon logo was available. So he thought he would take advantage of that. He put it in there. So it, what it is, is it's an attention grabber. And it's 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 assisting with his brand, and it's um, it's also breaking up the breaking up your pattern. So it's kind of like a pattern interrupt, which will grab your attention and then make you read the rest of the profile. Now, also right here, this is something that we we teach uh, a whole course on this. So we're not going to get into it on now. The Netherlands, we, we do. We teach on the Netherlands where it is. <laughs> Most people don't know where it is, believe it or not. Um, and uh, what what we have here is I changed the area because. 
I'm looking for work in the Netherlands because I'm going to be moving there. So, and I put right here, moving to the Netherlands in uh, June 2017. And then I have a little picture of a phone. And the reason why I put this here is because if someone in the Netherlands looks for an SEO, SEM expert, the chances of me showing up in that list are far superior than showing up in this list. So the, the geolocation is actually a very important part of all this. Mm -hmm. And then of course, again, I, I have the phone, which, uh, which is like a call to and, action. And then we can think about that geolocation in terms of if you're a business owner, you're gonna wanna have a geolocation that's um, the best for your target market clients too. So obviously if you're doing business um, in Los Angeles area, it's probably better for you to put the greater Los Angeles area than necessarily putting uh, your exact location. And it, for Andros, since he's moving to the Netherlands and he's gonna be looking for a tech job uh, while, he gets his, uh, while he gets his feet wet over there and then he can continue to do, uh, to do this kind of work as well, he's gonna wanna put that he's in Eindhoven area now so that potential recruiters and headhunters are looking at his profile and contacting him. And then he's also wanna, gonna wanna make sure that his skill set matches what employers and employees are looking for. And in fact, let's talk a little bit about uh, Glassdoor and how yeah. that can be useful. Cause this is not just for, this is not just for you, uh, if you're looking for your dream job, this can be for if you're looking for your dream job, but if you are running a business and you have uh, specific skills that match a specific industry, uh, there's a way of kind of getting your summary section written out uh, to an optimized standpoint by using a tool called Glassdoor. And we, we also get into a whole sections on how to find the, the best jobs possible and how to network with people who can help you in your industry. We're not gonna get that into that there, but we do teach that. And um, actually at the end of this webinar, we'll show you how you can uh, uh, continue this education and really use uh, LinkedIn to uh, leverage yourself in a very big way. Now, if you notice here, uh, as we scroll down, this is my activity. And what this means is uh, there, there's a, a, when you first log on to LinkedIn, it's gonna look like this. And this probably looks familiar to you because it's uh, a lot like the Facebook uh, page. So if I click on this and he can write something and here's his little profile. So he can share an image, he can post something. Um, and there's two types of posts. There's like an update where you're just like updating your, uh, your, you know, hey, everybody, I'm doing a LinkedIn uh, mastery course tonight. Or you can actually post a blog. And once you do that, uh, it goes over to this little section right here. So if you notice right here, this is where, um, uh, this is his activity. See, he's posting on a regular basis and you can see all of Justin's activity. You, he can see who's viewed his profile and uh, the views on his post. Now, uh, so for instance, here Andres and I are crushing it at our small business booth in at the Ventura County Score. And let's see if I can get that whole photo that to picture. show up. There, we there go. it is, there it is. There we are at the Ventura County Score Expo, just crushing it. Do you know what my mom said about this picture? What'd she say? She said, she said, my God, Andres, you look like a middle-aged university professor. Wow, what a compliment. I know, right? Well, that, you, you know what, with my mom, that is a compliment. Did you say thank you? I did, I did, <laughs> I, you know, thank you. That was probably the nicest thing she's ever said to me. And then we have this one here, which was uh, promoting the LinkedIn uh, mastery course. And there we are pointing at each other's photos at the Camarillo Library, where we, where we will be teaching a free class on LinkedIn as well uh, in the, June. Notice here. the theme here? Yeah, no, we're, we're pretty self-absorbed, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> Is that the theme? No, I thought it was just like that we teach a lot of LinkedIn. I guess we do, <laughs> Yeah, yes. speak for yourself, buddy. <laughs> so um, uh, as you can see here, uh, you know, you, you, can, you, you wanna keep posting and we actually have methodologies that we can show you uh, that allow you to auto post so you don't even have to think about it. Um, but in the meantime, let, let me go back to my... And again, um, you're posting, when, you, when you're posting, so this course is mainly to talk about how to optimize your LinkedIn profile, where we're teaching right now, but the LinkedIn does go deeper than that. And when you're, you're posting for a number of different reasons, um, one, you're posting to keep top of mind in your connections minds because you want, you want people to know that you're around. And there's something called the rule of seven that exists in marketing which is that people need to engage with you on some level seven times before they're ready 
to make any kind of an investment or any kind of commitment to, to right. your brand and company. So and before they click over and everything, they're going to want to see that you're active and that you're posting on a regular basis. Right. So they need to see you even subconsciously seven times before something happens. So if you, you know, if you look at my activity, I'm posting several times a day here. And if, you know, it, it, not everyone's going to see every single one of my posts, but if they keep seeing my face and keep seeing my name, eventually people are going to be like, oh, that guy may know a thing or two. Um, and then if you notice over here, you've got, uh, you know, this is how many people are following me, 4,286. So every time I post something, it goes out to all of these people and all of the people they know. So my reach is actually pretty far. Now, if you notice here, this is the next thing. Your experience is going to be the next thing that shows up. And again, all of this is search engine optimized. So I, uh, I took all of this and I made these bullet points. So my uh, stuff about SEO and SEM shows up even and more. We didn't. OK, so we, we started talking about Glassdoor. So let's get into Glassdoor okay. and show everybody how that can work. Yeah. So, get, so uh, go ahead and open up a window. Just there. just before then, I want to show you why. So going back down here, um, if you notice, this is my all of my experience that goes back all the way down to the early or uh, late 90s. Uh, and what I did was this, there was a very specific strategy. And this is a question that comes up a lot with people. They say, well, um, how does my experience, you know, I used to have this whole career for 20 years doing this other thing. How does that, uh, fit into what I'm doing now? Well, the thing is, is that with this, uh, website Glassdoor, you're able to find the postings that very large companies are making. So for instance, if we, let's put in uh, Palo Alto. Oh, oh, I was gonna, no, 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 right here, put in, uh, put in uh, uh, marketing, right? And then put in right here, Palo Alto. And the reason why is because these were where like the big Silicon Valley jobs are gonna be. And people in HR, uh, they spend a lot of time making sure that your uh, their job descriptions are right on. Um, so you can go here and, you know, I'm just using, I use Palo Alto because again, like here's Facebook marketing researcher. This is actually a job that I could probably uh, apply for right here. Cause I, I come from 10 years of market research and my, uh, my profile uh, says it all. But if I wanted to go for a job like this right here, look at this. They have all of the qualifications that they want for this particular job, right? All of these things, they put a lot of work into it. They really tried to figure out exactly what they want. So they 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 really boiled this down. Yeah, there was a lot is, of work. This is a billion dollar company. So you know that they put a lot of time and money into market research. So what we're doing is we're siphoning that research and we're applying it to our LinkedIn profile. And we're looking, I mean, what we can do is we can actually create a word cloud from this uh, job description we can see the type of words that are prominent in the job description. And then we can also reverse engineer that way to make sure that we are getting ranked for the type of words that show up here, especially if we're wanting to get a job like this. Because when market, when uh, when headhunters and um, hiring managers are looking, they're looking for people that match this description. So if you tailor your LinkedIn profile ahead of time to match the description that they're already searching for because you did the research in advance, then you are exponentially more likely to get contacted and uh, and be at least get the interview for the job. We can't we can't help you with the uh, with the interview process, but we can get your foot in the door. Dude, I'm going to totally apply for this job because I could do it. I am so the, the I'm only so problem is that you are moving to the Netherlands and uh, I believe you have to be in. in I, don't, I don't care. Park. You ain't the king of me. This, this is, <laughs> you <laughs> yeah, can't tell they, me what to do. That's uh, that's pennies for Facebook. They're only paying 48,000 yeah. or 82,000 there. That's, really? get, that's you're getting cheap. Yeah, they're gonna have to get me for the eighty-two. Yeah. But but anyway, the point is is that is that since you know a, a, a pro a, a HR person is not gonna look at every single they're not gonna read anybody's profile. But what they're gonna do is they're gonna have their own artificial intelligent organism uh, uh, crawl for the person that fits this the most. So if you change your uh, summary. Or your job and your job history, yeah, everything. Job. I mean, this you have to think of this as like everything matters for uh, for keyword optimization. So it starts with your summary, but then it comes down to your job history, and you want everything to tailor in to the skills that were relevant for what you're looking for now. Or if you're a business owner, you want your previous job history to tailor in to the things that your target market are going to find valuable 
about you having that experience. So here's our case in point. I'm going to yeah. give you a real world. Uh, this is a brilliant example. Yeah. So w I worked for the most loved company in the world, Comcast. Everybody loves them. Oh my God. There's, I not, love a single them. There's not a single person that says anything bad about them ever. And you, what, you know what my job was? Look at this. I was a strategic account growth manager. It sounds pretty sexy, right? You know what I did? I was on the phone answering people calling in to order cable. That's it. I was a cable salesperson. This strategic account growth manager says the exact same thing. And I grabbed this from a, uh, a high-end job uh, search that I thought, you know, this, this says the same thing and this is what people are looking for. I took the, uh, the descriptions of that job and I pasted it in here. So a lot of this stuff is, uh, again, it's search engine optimized to this particular uh, job. Even going back further, because I did uh, market research, I did some viral, um, uh, you know, content marketing specialists. I wrote infomercials for the internet. Uh, market research analyst, uh, I was a market researcher, but market research analyst uh, in the past few years, that job became keyword optimized. More companies are looking for a market research analyst. That's why I can apply for that Facebook job. And right down here, this is in the in in the 90s, I just before the dot bomb happened in the in the late 90s, I got a job writing uh, restaurant reviews for this magazine. Uh, the word content creator didn't even exist back in the day. It did not even exist. But I do know this, that content creator is a is a is the type of job that a lot of people are looking for nowadays. In fact, content creator has been, um, uh, is a is a huge uh, search job now. And it, I mean, and it's relevant to anything in search engine optimization. It's relevant to social media marketing. Content creation is massive in the online marketing world. So tailoring your prior job experience to actually fit what's relevant in 2017 is key. And Andres has been getting calls from a lot of headhunters in the Netherlands, um, and he's already potentially right. going to get a job tomorrow. Could be. Cross we'll our say. fingers. <laughs> but anyway, uh, you know, so you change you change this uh, information here to be relevant to today's. So even if you ran a hot dog stand in the early 90s, it doesn't matter. You were head of market acquisition for client blah, 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 <laughs> right? Yeah. And it, it, so so the point is, is that in order for you to really get some steam with your entire profile, go yeah. back in time and make everything relevant to today. And if you're a customer service agent, agent maybe you're actually a client relations manager. Maybe, you know, it's it's you have to, you have to make sure that it's, uh, it fits with what you actually did, but you find what people are looking for in the job market. You find other ways of verbalizing, um, Plain language is also about layout. Okay. Yeah, plain language is, uh, you're right. So, uh, yeah, and-, and Sorry, and, <laughs> so I, got, I got to interrupt. I was reading the uh, comments. There. Yeah, so plain language, yeah, be, be uh, you know, be clear, but but really in truth, not no one's gonna go over and read every single thing in your profile. The thing, the person or being that is most likely to read your profile is going to be a artificially intelligent algorithm. And so because AI is crawling these things, especially with headhunters or people who do business, they may read this, this whole thing, yeah. but you wanna make this more keyworded uh, to be relevant to your current, look at that. There's, there's and this is to get this is hair. to get your foot in the door. I mean, basically, this is to get your foot in the door. It's for the headhunters who to see that you meet the minimum requirements, and then you're going to send over a uh, a final resume to them right. from there. So this is kind of this is what gets it started. This is how you get your foot in the door, and and then you have to kind of take take the process from there. And that's what that's what we do with this kind of thing. Now, if you're if you're running it from a business owner perspective, when you optimize your profile like this and clients that are looking for a specific type of service, um, they're gonna be more likely to find your profile. And what we can do is uh, we can help you to create conversations with clients. So generally nobody's gonna call directly from your LinkedIn profile and buy your product or service because they saw you on LinkedIn. But what it can do is it can open up a dialogue between you and that, and that prospective client. And from there, you can make a sale after meeting with them in person or getting on a phone call. And that's how this works. I mean, I've closed a thousand dollar clients from getting calls set up through uh, LinkedIn Messenger and then going to meet them in person or doing, or again, or, or, or over the phone. And, um, and that's how it happens. So the majority of this, again, it's not like a, a panacea that's going to, gonna have people just buying your stuff because they found you on LinkedIn. 
but it but it does open up that dialogue where you can then make the sale. Right. And 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 Justin and I have found methodologies, and we can't get into it here because it, it takes too much time, but we found methodologies where you can actually pinpoint specific people that are decision makers that can make you money. So um, uh, that's something that uh, yeah. it takes a little bit of uh, uh, trial and error, but if you use certain methodologies that we've found, uh, you can actually close deals and get your better job and make money. Leveraging influencers right. on LinkedIn. Basically. Now, right here, add a new profile section. You can go in here and you wanna add like more work experience, more education, volunteer experience. Uh, skills and accomplishments. Again, all of these things go back to being search engine optimized. So if you look at all of the stuff that uh, Justin has done, you know, and if you want to add more stuff, you can click on this little icon right here. It pops it open and it will give you the ability to add uh, more stuff. So, you know, anything that you have that is volunteer work experience or might be good for you. In fact, you, you know, uh, you work for Weave uh, now yeah, occasionally. Yeah, and Score. Yeah, and Score. And uh, Women's Empowerment Ventures, if you're here in Ventura, it's a great organization. Score, if you live in the United States, you can get free mentoring. Uh, uh, Score.org. But you can add that experience here. And again, every little thing that you add, adds a little bit more credence to, to what you do. Um, now, this is a little section right here, featured skills and endorsements. A lot of people don't use this. You can add up to 50 skills and endorsements, and it gives other people the ability to endorse what you do. So if you click add a new skill, uh, you can add different skills, up to 50 of them, and then people can endorse you for different things. So video marketing, Amazon, uh, Infusionsoft sales. So, you know, the top stuff is kind of like, uh, if you're a superhero, these are your top superpowers. So if you're Superman, it would be like uh, Bulletproof. This would be like flying, maybe flying is first, maybe Bulletproof is second. And then over here, you would have like, turn back time by flying around the world. You would have a race in Lois's memory with a kiss. Uh, <laughs> you would have over here, uh, maybe X-ray vision would probably be over here. So you get the idea. Superman can do anything, can't he? Yeah, he can. So he'd probably need more than 50, but uh, but you get the idea. Like your top superpowers, which defines the type of superhero you are. If you haven't seen my TED Talk, uh, this is Andros, by the way. That's my voice. Uh, just look up Andros Sturgeon on YouTube. You'll see I'm going to do talk. a TED Talk on how to be a super villain. Oh, I think that'd be good. I huh? think we should do battle on yeah, stage. Yeah, we should. We should have liked it. Yeah. And then over here, we have recommendations. This is... Um, uh, my good friend, uh, Lisa Longstone, also known, AKA, uh, I'm not going to give out your fake name. I'm not going to do it, but, uh, but, uh, she wrote us a really good, uh, review. Uh, if you notice, uh, I still owe you 10 bucks for the review that I wrote. So this little section is called recommendations and you click on this and you ask to be recommended. It, it gives you what's called social proof, meaning that it allows, uh, other people to give a testimonial about you. That's right. And these uh, these recommendations uh, also, I mean, on, there's a social proof element that people are looking for proof that you can bring them value. They're looking for social validation from from other people. So this is uh, in the seminar industry. When you go watch a uh, when you watch a sales pitch, for instance, you're always seeing the in the sales pitch them weaving in testimonials. And again, it comes to that value of social proof because people want to know that other people have had success under the systems and guidance that you're providing. So by, by, having, by having these kinds of uh, social proof links, you're providing a sense of ease and comfort that, they, that, that, that these people can do it as well, that they're able to uh, have the same kind of success that, that your, your average, um, that, the, that someone else with, uh, with like experience and maybe they came in with no experience and they, had, uh, they made a bunch of money with LinkedIn. So they, uh, people want to know that they can achieve those same results. So uh, go find a friend, get them to recommend you for something, uh, ask for recommendations. It fills us out. And again, guess what? Search engine optimized. That's right. So, um, here's so you some can even, uh, some other ideas are, you can write the recommendation for somebody. You can kind of cut and paste it and email it to them. And then say, if you, if you approve this, can you post this on my LinkedIn profile? That's one way of kind of soliciting a recommendation. If they're comfortable with that, it's a, it's a good concept. But the idea is you do want to get recommendations on there. It is something that it, it can only boost your, your search engine ranking. 
it's uh, it's definitely um, encouraged. And 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 again, um, when it comes down to social proof, if you're building a website, you're gonna want social. Te- you're gonna want um, testimonials on there as well. Here's my aunt. Your aunt says my- Andres is imaginative. He's a great CEO with a uh, what is CEO when it's not capitalized, man? Is that uh, something different? Yeah, I think I think it's. <laughs> I don't know. And I, I, I'm a planner and I'm creative. And you know, what's funny is uh, right here, this word right here, this is what my family would say instead of special. They, mm. they, what, what do you think of Andros? Mm. Well, you know, is he a good student? He's imaginative. <laughs> He's imaginative. That's what they would say. Well, it's very so, nice of them yeah, to, yeah. To, to not come directly and just say the reality. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> so thank you, family. Um, now, right if here. If you're watching. <laughs> uh, here's your uh, accomplishments. You can add things like certifications. Now, with certifications, this is kind of funny because you can add any type of certification. Um, now, one thing that uh, LinkedIn for uh, just bought lynda.com. And uh, actually, they bought uh, they bought Linda before Microsoft yeah, bought LinkedIn, right? right. And so, by proxy, uh, now Microsoft owns Linda, and they they've switched it to something called LinkedIn Learning. If you click on this, there's this little thing right here, LinkedIn Learning. And if you uh, learn a new skill, uh, whoops, it, there's Linda right there. If you learn a new skill, what will happen is uh, you can at the end of that skill that you take on Linda. If you're not familiar with that, you can learn anything. Uh, you can learn anything from video editing to uh, search engine optimization to anything. You could put that certification directly on here. So it shows that you're constantly updating your skills. You're doing all sorts of stuff uh, with that. You can also add your own certifications if one isn't on here. So, uh, like, you know, I, I'm certified in billing for Comcast Corporation, believe it or not. Isn't that great? I, I believe you. Yeah. So um, that's what Comcast is best at. Yeah. And if you notice here, I've got. I'm <laughs> it's not more, service, it's billing. But if you notice up here, I'm also certified for the Star Child Academy. This is something I just made up uh, because Star Child Interactive is my, uh, is my company. But isn't that what everybody does with certifications? What's that? Make them up. Uh, it depends. Pretty much. Well, if you're a doctor, you better not do well, that. Well, yeah, that's different. That's a a state, when, it, when it's a state regulated thing, it's a little bit different. But there, yeah. I mean, there are a lot of people out there that kind of just create certifications out of thin air. And, well, I uh, hope the state they're... doesn't try and look up my certification for the Star Child Academy. Otherwise, I'm in trouble. Um, <laughs> so, uh, and then here's uh, projects that I've been doing. Uh, in fact, you know what I need to add right here? LinkedIn Mastery Course. Yeah, you probably should have that I there. don't have that there. Uh, language, I'm a dumb American, so I only know English. Uh, Possibly soon to be Dutch, though. Yeah, I, I am learning Dutch, folks. So it's goed. It's goed. That's that's good. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you 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 say goed, 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 like an owl, like a like an owl. Exactly. Um, this is a book I published, getting started with Paint.net. Um, and then here's my test score. And I believe for, that was a New York Times bestseller. Is that right? It, 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 uh, it was. No, it just missed. Yeah. It just missed. Yeah, Obama just, had his book. It out just uh, it must have been yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, it was a tough time when you wrote that book. And then so. right here, uh, my test score. Uh, I, I I had a test score for the ethics mastery training. Wow. Uh, ethics mastery training is a training actually that Justin and I have come up with. It has one question: Are you an ethical person? Uh, and if you answer yes, you get your uh, ethics mastery training mm. certificate. Mm-hmm. And what happens if you choose no? Well, if you choose no, it takes a great deal of humility and honesty. And we have to award you an ethics badge because of your – you came out honestly. I mean, come on. If you if you can admit to not being an ethical person, that by default – you actually are one. <laughs> so towards the end of your LinkedIn profile, you're gonna have your interests, and this is uh, going to be a couple of things. This is going to be people that... Uh, well, let's, let's come back on and take a few questions here, because let's break this yeah. up, because we're doing a lot of teaching right now, and I do wanna, I do wanna come back and like review what's going on with you guys, so let me take that for a okay. second here. Uh, I am, but there we are, we are back here. So if you guys can, uh, if you guys have any questions, let me let me read through um, what we have here. We have Sabine says women's empowered ventures. Yeah, women's economic ventures. It's, Andros, oh, oh, man. oh man, yeah, women's economic. Thank ventures. you for calling him out on that yeah. because that was just embarrassing. Yeah. So, um, oh, 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 imaginative is great. Yes, imaginative <laughs> is great. And then we have Megan. This has been fantastic and really valuable. I need to digest all this great material. 
and can see being in touch again. Well, you don't go anywhere, Megan, because we're about to stay tuned because yeah. we are going to drink a terrible, 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 delicious soda. Yeah, and it says uh, Valerie just asked, will we be able to download and save the recordings and view them uh, after one week? Um, download? I don't. You, you can't have, download, but you will be yeah. able to rewatch this. Uh, um, yeah, you'll have. Uh, yeah. It'll only be available for a week. I mean, there are. Probably ways of getting it off the internet, but there's no download link. Now, uh, now, one thing. Uh, <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. We have one more. Actually, interest would filling this out help with SEOs? Yes, it would help with your SEOs. Uh, <laughs> the uh, the the thing is, is that again, if somebody types in your name or yeah. your business, this is going to come up towards the top. Now, this is about branding. Yeah. So, like, when and, and validating, right? Because you want you want to be credible. So when somebody Google's uh, Andrew Sturgeon or Justin Womack. I want to. I want my LinkedIn profile to be popping up there on one of the top results, and I want it to be validating what I stand for and what I'm an expert at. So that if somebody wants to hire me, they're going to have that extra push, and they're going to know that I'm qualified to do this. Don't drink the Kool Aid. <laughs> just don't drink the Kool-Aid. We're not. We're going to no, drink. No, we're just going to drink. It looks like we're going to drink ranch flavored soda, which is oh, last man. time I checked. <laughs> so, so. Can you please revote? Keep voting. It's still open. Yeah. We have grass. I'd much rather drink this. I've had wheat grass at blenders, and it's not that bad. I'm sure this isn't that bad, but uh, <laughs> I'm so, worried about ranch flavored soda. I'm a little worried about. I'm it a little too. worried about that. So, so, um, and and so Valerie just asked, uh, why only one week? Well, uh, what we're doing here is, you know, it, we have a, a very big, uh, large, bigly, um, bigly, <laughs> bigly. <laughs> that word is knowledge. now that word is now common common use. It's gonna be, of, it's gonna be in the dictionary. Yeah, I it's probably, it. actually, probably um, well. So uh, we we have uh, we have a very vast knowledge of LinkedIn. We know the the platform very well. You can advertise on it. You can target people. In fact, uh, I can. I, uh, there's a story uh, where I used LinkedIn recently to target some specific recruiters in uh, the Netherlands for a specific job I wanted. I reached out. I'm now in the finals of getting possibly getting that job because I reached out to the recruiter. So, um, and you can find uh, people who are called influencers. If you have a book, you can contact them and help them do something where uh, you cross promote and uh, tap into their networks. You can uh, create content that makes you money. There's lots of different things that you can do uh, within LinkedIn. And the reason why this is only available for a week is because we have a full course that we want to provide for people um, because it is, uh, it, we find that a lot of people don't use LinkedIn properly. And so what we want to do is we want to offer that course to everybody who's offering, uh, who's watching. Currently. Are you laughing? We got Megan. Dirt. Dirt. Drink oh, the dirt. Drink the dirt. So yes, that we do, we want to offer this um, the full course. So this is this is really one module. We have, we have the full course. This yeah. is the first module in that course. So Megan just great, asked, uh, talk about one on one coaching. Um, so what what we want to do here, and and typically we we charge a, about a hundred bucks an hour for what we do. However, with we we because we were asked so much about LinkedIn, we have started this new project called the LinkedIn Mastery Course. And uh, what we're doing is we're providing a service. So, because I'm I'm fully of the belief that everyone should be using LinkedIn in a very big way, bigly. Yeah, bigly. Um, so, uh, when you when you mm. sign up for the LinkedIn Mastery Course, uh, not only will you get personal coaching, you're going to get an hour of coaching, but you also get every single bit of information we know about LinkedIn. And we're going to show you how to target influencers, mm -hmm. how to use LinkedIn Learning, how to get a business page up something called showcase pages, which are sub pages on your business page that are also search engine optimized, how you can automate posting on your LinkedIn profile so you never have to think about what you're posting. Uh, we're going to get into uh, uh, even you know deep advertising. Uh, we, we do an advanced profile section. Anyway. Uh, and, and let me just tell you this. Um, Sabine asked if the course would be better for job seekers than business, uh, business owners. And, and the answer is no. Um, we, we cover both in the course. So we, t we actually probably spend a little bit more time on business owners than we do on, um, on job seekers. But we do we talk about job seekers and how they can find their dream job if that's what you're interested in. But if you're a business owner, that's kind of where the, where the, cru uh, the crux of this program is about. So, so what this includes is you get, you get six modules. They're online. 
you get a username and a password. You can log in. You can watch the course. Uh, the content is dripped out kind of week by week. So each module you'll get uh, kind of one, usually it's uh, one week at a time. So, so basically this would be like module one and the assignment for this week is go over your LinkedIn profile, refine it, get it juicy, and uh, come back next week with your new and improved LinkedIn profile. Yeah. And then each week you get a one hour call with us. It's a group call. So each week uh, the members of the group can hop on a, on a one hour call with us. Uh, we'll take, it's basically a live Q and A. So we'll have, uh, we'll have people in the group call that are at different levels. So we just kind of take your, it's, we pretty much take your questions and answers and on each call we'll teach We'll go through one module in the program and we'll kind of uh, do a little teaching section and then we uh, mainly do Q&A. Um, you get a one-on-one -on -one 60 minute personal call with us. So uh, we'll actually spend a full hour with you going over any questions that you have. You get over. a video review of yeah. your LinkedIn profile. So, Which is separate. Yeah, so once you, and this is something we always charge extra for, but it's included in this. Uh, if you, we will go, once your profile is done, we'll go over it and we'll give you a video review of everything in your LinkedIn profile. What's good, what needs to be improved, we'll be honest. Um, and and uh, since uh, and since I used to work in the seminar industry and uh, I, I worked for a number of uh, pretty big, uh, big seminar gurus, uh, we have to establish the, the value of what we're offering here. So uh, by getting the, the six modules, the uh, the one the 60 minute one on one call, the five uh, one hour group calls and then the uh, the video screencast showing a um, the tips, strategies and pointers to improve your LinkedIn if profile. You, if we you were to get this, the value, if you were to get the separately, the value, if you were to buy this wholesale, as they say on the streets, wholesale, you would pay you would pay one thousand and seventy four dollars. But because this is a special webinar and because Andre Sturgeon is incredibly generous. And actually we, we love, I mean, we're both pretty generous right now. And this is uh, this is the only the second time we've been offering this. So we're offering the whole package to you for $97. So you can actually have all of this for life. You'll have lifetime access to the online modules. You'll get the five group calls. You'll get the one hour call with us. You'll get the video review for 97 bucks. There are other people that sell courses just like this that cost $2,000 online. We're not really of the mentality that we want to, you know, charge people that kind of money. We want to provide a lot of value. We want to be, we want to be helpful. And we're also, we're kind of building our brand. So this is, yeah. this is early in the, and, in the structure of it. So. And the thing is, is that uh, we are, if you sign up for the lifetime uh, membership course for the 97 bucks, which is really not that much, we guarantee you that you will get your money back just by the types of business that you'll be getting. These, these systems have worked wonders for us. They'll work for you. We know that. Uh, and we're very, very confident that that's going to, that you'll be able to, uh, definitely like make the connections that you need to be yeah. successful. But so, the, the main thing is this is that, uh, uh, once you sign up again, this is a lifetime thing. So if all of a sudden they reformat or they introduce a new thing, which they're going to, because, uh, Microsoft has a huge plan for LinkedIn. And every time there's a new update or something, you're going to get a little notification saying, hey, there's a new thing that you need to know about. So it's also being updated constantly. Uh, and we may not always be offering it for life. I mean, this is this is the early yeah. you're getting in very, very early. We have ten. We have floor. only 10 people in there right now. So there's only 10 current members going through the course right now. So you're you're in very early. Um, but if, we will raise the price of this uh, eventually. And we will. Um, you know, but uh, but the main thing is, is that we have a, a lot of value that we're providing specifically one on one coaching uh, with the both of us. You could ask us about your own marketing issues. Uh, you Pretty know. soon we're going to be raising the price. We're going to be charging for this on a monthly basis, most likely. And so if you get in now, you're getting it for life and you get to have all this content, plus any updates that we ever make within the modules. You won't have access to the group calls for life, um, but you will have access to any uh, any of the modules. And, uh, and the updates and, and the all updates, that stuff. and we're going to keep you posted on all the changes on LinkedIn. So, I mean, it's a it's a great offer. We'd love to have you join us on this journey. Um, and but we, we do owe you a payoff. So before we sign off, we owe you the big payoff. And it looks and like it, it looks, looks like branch. Like, no, I closed it out. Oh, branch, branch one. Oh man, branch one. I wish we could have. Uh, I wish oh. we could have kept it open there. But since you guys waited the entire time. All of you that have stayed on, you get to watch us drink the wonderful and delicious ranch flavored soda. Okay. I'm really, oh, it's so exciting. I'm so happy. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Man. If Megan had her way, we'd be drinking dirt. <laughs> it smells like, it's, it smells like vinegar. No, no, no it actually, it smells soda. like 
like kind of like clay and feet, oh, like what? like old feet. What? I don't even. It doesn't but, smell like ranch. <laughs> it what. does not smell like. It may, it, like it honestly, it smells like ranch that has been kept in like Willie Nelson's shoe mm. for about a oh, week. Oh yeah. Well. Oh man. Yeah. Okay. Here we okay. go. Here okay. we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh. be brave. Be brave. Be brave. Be brave. Is it delicious? It tastes it delicious? just like it smells. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, mm. oh. Wait, let me hold the logo out. Cheers, ladies and gentlemen. Thank oh. you for this wonderful honor. Oh, my goodness. And, and oh, oh, goodness. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Like why? Why? Why was this created? Why oh. was this created? Yeah, I, I I really don't think this was meant to be uh, consumed. consumed by human beings. Why? But you know what? I, I got to do the two taste rule. That's that's what my this mom always meant, said. I think it was meant for like a novelty, but never to be drinking. I mean, you're not actually supposed to drink this. It's just supposed oh. to be on a shelf. Oh. I, I, oh. we, you paid this. Sabine you, asked you who buys this us, stuff. You gave us your time. Yeah. We reward you whether whether you buy or not. You gave us your time. That's paying us. So that ah, cheers again. It, it God it's like, bless you. It has this it has Sabine asks who buys this stuff? Well we do. It it has this actually it's like an aftertaste of like burnt plastic. Does this stuff cause cancer? <laughs> oh. 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 Well, there you go, folks. We have uh, made in China. Made in China. I don't <laughs> <Probably>. know. <laughs> Woo! Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> well, we did it for you. Well, we have one more, one more amazing offer. I think we want to we want to give before before we sign off here. So, um, uh, if you want your own delicious ranch flavored soda value pack, <laughs> <laughs> I've gone ahead and put a link where you can get the value pack to get your own delicious bacon soda, sweet corn soda, and ranch soda from Amazon.com. That's right. You, too, can experience <laughs> the joys. Get rid Put the other offer up there. <laughs> Don't do that to the people. You're going to confuse them. They're gonna they're gonna buy some soda and think that they're gonna get some LinkedIn coaching. Yeah. Mm. You know. Oh my god, that's like really not sitting well. No, mm. no. That that honestly is probably the most foul thing I've ever had. Uh, yeah, I feel slightly pukish. Mm -hmm. That's a, mm -hmm. So um, what a great note to so end on. Thank you uh, for joining us. We yeah. appreciate you guys for being around, and especially the ones that stuck around the entire time. I mean, honestly, we, we love we love having people stay on and watch us. We can uh, we can go like be a little you know a little silly sometimes, but we like we have fun with it. We teach a lot of valuable content. You're not going to find a lot of this stuff anywhere else, especially people are like hoarding and they're not sharing like Canva and Pixabay, and those are amazing tools. Yeah, and, and every we week, give it all. Yeah, we give it all. Every week we're going to give you a homework assignment to uh, to follow through on. We're gonna like if you're not getting through on that assignment, we're gonna coach you through it. Um, so there's a lot of great value we'll here. The whip. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, you will be able to make more connections. We guarantee by the end of this course, you'll have more connections. You'll find a better job if that's what you're looking for. You'll at least be getting interviewed. Uh, you'll be making more business contacts. We'll take you through all of that. And um, and who knows? We may even drink more vile soda. Yeah, we so. still have uh, we still have the dirt and the grass flavored soda, which are our remaining options. I believe that's all we have left. So. Whatever our next uh, whatever our next webinar is, so, uh, we still have the dirt. Yeah. And the it looks like someone just purchased uh, the LinkedIn Mastery course. So thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank um, you. Yeah, and uh, you're gonna get a, a welcome letter here in a few minutes. But uh, you know, we'll be doing other webinars. So uh, you know, thank you for attending. Yes. And uh, if uh, and if you miss it, uh, we drank. Actually, I'm gonna take one last sip for you because what? I like to torture myself. And because uh, look at what he's doing I for do you guys. For, I'm a rating. He's doing this for you. I do this for ratings. <laughs> <laughs> well, then do it. Don't talk about it. Do it. Do it. Chug, 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 mm. chug. Oh mm. my God! All right, here we go. Mm. This is honestly the most wow. violent I've ever had. Good night, everybody. Mm. May the fourth be with you. Go see Guardians of the Galaxy two.